have been running this as the benchtop instrument for a couple months now and we're excited to put it online and actually have this uh, available in real time data through our SCADA system to help us uh, predict our coagulant dose and to better understand that we're actually doing the right um, dose based on the uh, particle destabilization of the plant. We're a brand new filtration facility, although we do have some operators from outside uh, water treatment plants, this is our first water plant here in Tacoma. So this is after 100 years, we're filtering the Green River for the first time. And this instrument has been extremely useful and helpful in telling us uh, if we got the right dose for treating the water and getting us uh, repeatable results to our customers. We've done many, many hours of jar testing and we have a stream and current monitor and a charge analyzer as well. Lots of tools in our toolbox, but this instrument, the uh, Zetasizer, has been extremely helpful in telling us that we've made a, a flock that is, going to, that is filterable. So we know a range, we know what we're shooting for, and we can adjust our coagulant dose accordingly to make it repeat. The fact that it is online, it can tell us like we said, the global sense when something is coming as far as the stream and current value of bulk of the water is changing, we can be sure and satisfied that we have treated the water properly. We haven't overshot it, spending a bunch of chemical unnecessarily on the process when we only needed to make a move or sometimes it will tell us don't make a move at all, you're just fine where you're at. So the turbidity changes in our water that we see rapidly changing, aren't they're, they're sort of independent of each other just because the number goes up. This unit has been helpful telling us just stay where you're at, you know, you're, you're just fine or increase it a little bit, don't overshoot it because it's not worth the, you're going to get still a filterable flock, it's not worth the extra chemical and the added cost for that. Everybody's been able to run their own Zeta standard. Everybody's been able to uh, teach one another about the, the numbers they're getting, get a feel for. If I'm at negative three, I know I'm going to have to make a dose change soon, but if I'm at negative 11, the plant is falling apart. I think everybody has got a good sense of it's really simple to do, keeping the cuvettes clean. They've already been very you know, savvy as far as uh, lab techniques, so this really is uh, just one more, uh, one more addition for them to, to keep, uh, keep it um, stable. So really, I think everybody's been happy with the results because I think it gives them some sort of satisfaction that the dose change they made is correct and they, they can feel better that that's the right way to, to go with, the, with our coagulant dose. So we're very new at filtration, but I could see this really helping down the road with uh, optimizing coagulation dose, uh, saving on chemical costs, you know, whether it be running a different scheme of chemicals, you know, running uh, one higher and bringing another one that maybe is more costly, bringing that one lower would be our ultimate goal, but I think that would really help us out in the near future. For us, it's a no-brainer that the, the beginning of our uh, treatment process has to be correct or everything downstream doesn't work correctly. So if we don't form a filterable flock, the filtration plant won't work or it will hobble along or work a little bit and not be very efficient. So I think getting the, getting the dose correct at the beginning of the plant and having a tool so that you can be confident in that you actually did that correctly and you have nothing to worry about when the water's coming through the plant, that is the most important thing for us.